morning, Southwest Elementary Spurs. Today is Monday, February 11th, 2019. Today, we are broadcasting our SWU TV show today from the library. As we continue celebrating Love Your Library Month. Let's peek over in the nonfiction section where the cookbooks are. I think Abby and Savani are preparing a lunch menu for today. We love our library's nonfiction section. We are reading about nutritious and healthy foods. For today's healthy lunch, we have baked chicken drummies, or PB&J, or buffalo chicken salad. Today's sides are veggie tray, broccoli, apple packs, and your choice of milk. Back to you, Grayson and Holly. The month of February has been set aside to celebrate all the communities love about their libraries. And our library here at SWE has lots to love. I visited with Ms. Pow to learn all about the new Sunshine State books that she has available for checkout. We have lots of books to pick from. We have um, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade chapter books. It is plain to see that Ms. Pow loves books and helping all of the SWE Spurs find just the right book to capture their imagination. Ms. Beardsley, our reading coach, has made it her mission to encourage our AI reading and help us all develop a love for reading. One way she does this is by hosting amazing family-themed evenings that celebrate reading and learning as a family. Last week, we set sail in Find Treasure and Learning Night. It was an awesome evening with food, games, guest readers, info for parents, and free books. The books were gathered by an amazing Barto IB High School student, Gabrielle Snyder. She is the woman who collected all the books at Find Treasure and Learning Night. Why did you choose Southwest Elementary to give all these books to? Actually, Southwest reached out to me and asked me if I could give books for the Literacy Night. How many books did you gather in total? I've been collecting books since about 7th grade. I've gotten over 31,000 altogether. Wow, <laughs> that is a lot of books. What was your favorite book when you were my age? The Fluffy the Hamster books and then the Berenstein Bear books. Why do you think it's important for kids to have their own books? I want other people to enjoy reading as much as I did as a kid because not only will it help you like improve um, your literacy and your reading skills. It also can be a really fun experience. Reading's just a nice way to spend time. Wow, Holly, 31,000 books. It is amazing what one student can accomplish with the support of their community behind them. You know, I have another neat community outreach. It's called Arise to Read. Mrs. Beardsley told me all about the community volunteers that helped students gain confidence with their reading. This is Ms. Beardsley, our reading coach. I have a few questions with her about Arise to Read today. First, how many students are a part of this program? We have 30 second grade students, 18 first graders, and we are reaching into our kindergarten classrooms as well. Our volunteers are coming in to read with our kindergartners. What benefits have you seen toward this program? Okay, well our first year we had some two students actually that received Most Improved Reader Award for their classroom at the end of the year award celebration, so we were thrilled with that. Wow, Grayson, with all this focus on reading here at Southwest, our students are going to be reading rock stars. Speaking of rock stars, we asked our resident rock star, Maxwell Papas, to hit the high notes with some reading AR success. He really rocked it. Right now we're rocking AR. I'm going to give you some little song details and matching details about AR. You have to read a book more than once, just like practicing a beat more than once, so you can get it perfect. That's right, Max. Read your nonfiction books at least three times to rock your quiz. You should read a book you enjoy, like me. I'm reading a brand new Magic Treehouse book, and that's how I know that I will enjoy it. You have to always read captions so you can get all the little details in your song and in your book. To increase my ARR score, before I play my video games, I make sure I read my book. So keep reading and stay rocking. Southwest Spurs have really been rocking their AR lately. They sure have, and they've been earning incentives and special fun to celebrate it. They got to by administrators in the face in January 
because we exceeded our school-wide points goal. Then we had a hundreds day where our administrators challenged us to get as many hundreds on AR test as we could in one day. Because students scored so many hundreds on AR quizzes, the principals, secretaries, and coaches went crazy with their hair. We called it hair for hundreds. In this week, our administrators had to spend a whole day outside in a tent because they were such happy campers over our AR average, meaning the 85% mark. Remember that our next AR goal is an 85%. I've got to get ready to meet my AR goal this week. You know, Grayson, sometimes his books I want to check out are already checked out from our school library. Me too. That's why the Lakeland Public Library is awesome too. It's more than just a place to check out books. The Lakeland Public Library was founded by the Women's Club of Lakeland. It first opened its doors in 1927. That's 92 years ago. At that time, it had around 5,000 books and other important documents recording the history of our town. Since then, it is a center for reading and researching in our community. The librarians are available to help you with research questions or to find a specific book. The library hosts Children's Story Hour, has up-to-date technology available for research, offers a packed calendar of classes and activities, a coffee shop, and free Wi-Fi. With all these activities, wouldn't you want to go to the Lakeland Public Library? What an awesome public library! I did some research on libraries and was amazed at what I found. Did you know there are almost 17,000 public libraries all over our country? Of all of them, the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. is the biggest of all. This amazing National Library had a collection of over 40 million books. It is open to the public and anyone 16 or older may read a book, but you cannot check it out and take it home like you can with a regular public library. Here's a fact most people don't know. Before the internet made finding information almost instant, there was a secret book tunnel that ran from the Capitol building to the Library of Congress. If a senator or congressman needed a book, they would send a written note to the library. The librarians would find the book and send it back on an underground conveyor belt. Books could travel at speeds of 600 feet per second. Whoa, an underground tunnel? I have to do some more research on that. There must be tunnels all over the capital. We could do a segment on that. That's an awesome idea. We could use, oh, hang on. It's time to get started with our day spurs. I hope you find something interesting to research or read. Take time to read, learn something new, Relax and just maybe get lost in your story. And remember, Spurs are productive, understanding, respectful, and safe. Have a great day, Spurs.